If you're thinking about installing solar panels in Texas, then stop right there. You're going to want to watch this video first because I'm going to be explaining how the solar program in Texas works, how you can take advantage of all of the different rebates, and how you can avoid any pitfalls and penalty fees. Hi everyone, Joe Ordy here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, at Solar Surge, we do that primarily using renewable energy, battery backup, and sometimes generator backup as well for maximum preparedness. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the various rebates and incentive programs that are available in Texas because I've been getting contacted by a lot of Texas homeowners recently inquiring about solar power. Uh, many of them are concerned about the, the ice storm and the grid power outage that just happened two months ago. Also, we've got hurricane season coming up. So those that live on the Gulf, Gulf Coast are concerned with storm-related power outages. Now, what I wanted to do today was explain how the solar program in Texas works and what are the various incentives that you can take advantage of to lower the cost for you so that you can maximize your payback. Now, one of the best ways to take advantage of solar is through what's called net metering. And what net metering is, is basically your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, when your solar panels are producing peak power, you can be powering the home on solar and selling excess solar back to the power company. So all throughout the day, you're accruing credits on your account, which then you can then use to offset what you would normally have to purchase from the power company during evening hours. So if you bank enough excess credits during daytime hours, then you don't have to pay anything for what you otherwise would have to buy during the evening. So that's one of the best ways to take advantage of solar savings. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is any rebates and incentives offered by your local utility. So for exa example, in Austin, the local utility in Austin offers you a $2,500 cash rebate, as well as a 10 cents per kilowatt hour uh, buyback offer. So if you're in Austin, you can take advantage of that program as well. And the $2,500, you know, direct cash back, that, that really helps a lot as far as lowering your, your uh, investment cost, your capital cost in the system. There are some other local utility incentives available as well. For example, if you're a CPS Energy customer, you can receive up to $1.20 per watt rebate on the solar installation. Now, that's very significant. That means with just a, a small solar installation of a five kilowatt system, you could get $6,000 cash back from the local power company. In many cases, that can cover half the cost of the system. And then if you add the additional federal tax credits, uh, it, it'll boost your savings even more. So I'll talk about the federal credits here in a moment. Also, Guadalupe Valley Electric Cooperative, Garland Power and Light, and the City of Sunset Valley all offer local rebates to homeowners as well. Residential solar systems in Texas are also exempt for property tax assessment, meaning that although the solar power and if you do the battery backup, although those systems will increase the resale value of the house, your local jurisdiction cannot assess additional real estate taxes because of it. So switching to solar or upgrading to solar shouldn't cost you anything in terms of your real estate tax. Texas is also what's called a solar access rights state. And what that means is that the law in Texas prevents your homeowners association from restricting your access to solar power. So although maybe some of your neighbors don't like the idea of solar panels, legally speaking, there's nothing that your HOA can do to prevent you or block you from installing solar power. And then finally, there's the 26% federal tax credit, which is available in Texas and all across the country. But the federal government will actually reimburse you 26% of your overall project cost when you file your uh, federal tax return. So when you consider all the different rebates that are available, as well as the fact that Texas has some of the lowest labor rates in the country in terms of construction industry, so the cost of installation of solar in Texas is much lower than other parts of the country. Uh, if you combine that again with the, the current low interest rate environment, switching over to solar in Texas shouldn't cost you anything out of pocket. In fact, in many cases, if you wanna finance the purchase of the solar power system, what you pay on your solar payment will actually be less 
than what you're just throwing away now to the power company. So if you'd like to take a look at some numbers for your home specifically, you can reach out to us on the link below and request a free no obligation quote. Or if you'd like to email in, email to info at solarsurge.net and include a copy of your electric bill if you can. That way we can see specifically what programs are available in your area. Well, folks, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch the video today. If you're getting good value, make sure you uh, click on that like button and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't already, so that way you won't miss any of our future videos. Uh, and of course, go ahead and share the link directly if you know somebody else that'll benefit from the information here. Well, folks, thank you again for watching today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.